So today we are solving algebra equations, but we're solving them with square roots and cube roots. All right. So you'll notice the equations that we're going to look at today all involve x squared and x cubed. All right. Turns out, just like undoing multiplying, you use division. To undo adding, you use subtraction. To undo x squared, we have to use the square root. All right. And what you do to one side of the equal sign, we have to do to the other side. All right. So when we do that, squaring and square rooting undo each other, and we're left with x, drop down the equal sign. Now the square root of 289 is 17. But here's the thing. Whenever we undo x squared in an algebra equation using a square root on both sides, there are two possible answers. The square root of 289 gives us two possible answers. It could be 17, or it actually could be negative 17 also. There's two possible answers that work. And here's why. And I'm going to use my calculator to show you why. To check my answer, I would normally just take the answer and put it back into the original problem and see if it equals 289. So let's do that. 17 to the second power, and it should equal 289. And it does. Okay. But watch what happens when I use negative 17. And I got to use parentheses here. Negative 17 in for x squared. I also get 289. You see, when we squared our original number, it automatically makes it positive. So we don't know if it was originally positive or if it was originally negative because when you square it, the answer is going to become positive no matter what. So we always have to put two answers, 17 or negative 17 in this case. Or if you want to use a fancy symbol, you can use the plus or minus symbol. It's basically a plus sign with a minus sign underneath it. And the way we read it as positive 17 or negative 17. It means the exact same thing as up here. All right. So whenever you're undoing x squared in an algebra equation, remember, there are two possible answers. OK, let's do another one. x to the third power this time. All right. So now, we know that to undo x squared, we square root. To undo x cubed, we have to cube root. All right. So that's like a radical symbol with the little 3 to show that it's a cube root, not a square root. But what we do to one side equal sign, we have to do the other. OK, so let's do that. It's cubing and cube rooting undo each other. So these undo each other. And I'm left with x over here. Drop down my equal sign. And the cube root of 1728, in case you don't know, is 12. And that's my answer. Now you're probably thinking, wait, could it also be negative 12? I'll show you why it can't be negative 12. OK? So just to check our answer, like we always do, I'm going to throw 12 into the original equation, see if it equals 1728. 12 to the third power. 1728. All right. Now, like I was just saying before, how do we know that negative 12 doesn't work? Here, let's try it. Negative 12 to the third power. Ah, it doesn't equal 1728. It equals negative 1728. So when you're undoing x cubed, there's only going to be one answer, unlike when we're solving for x squared. OK? And that always throws people at first. But you kind of have to get used to that. OK? Let's do a couple more that are a little bit harder. OK? Here we go. 4x squared minus 7 equals 29. So to undo this one, we're going to have to do it in the opposite order of the order of operations. So think about what happened here. We had x. The first thing they did was squared it. So that means that's the last thing we're going to undo. Then they multiplied it by 4. And then they subtracted 7 to get 29. So notice that minus 7 was the last thing they did. So guess what? It's the first thing we're undoing. So plus 7, what we do to one side of the equal sign, we have to do to the other side. When I do that, 
the sevens are gonna undo each other, but the four x squared drops down, the equals drops down, and this is 36. Now I've got x squared and then multiplied by four. So that multiplied by four is the next thing we have to undo. So we're gonna divide by four. What we do to one side of the equal sign, we have to do to the other side. The fours are undo each other. The x squared drops down. The equal sign drops down. And 36 divided by four is nine. We're almost there. But now we've got that x squared. And remember we learned to undo x squared, we have to square root. But what you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do to the other side. All right, so squaring and square rooting undo each other. So all that's left over here is x. Finally, we got it. Equals, on the other side, the square root of nine is three. But don't forget, we undid x squared, so that means there's two answers. That means it could be three or it could be negative three. There's two possible answers, okay? And again, you could write it this way or if you'd rather write it with the plus or minus three, you can do it that way too. All right? And if you wanna check, we can check. So let's check. Uh, we're gonna put three in here first to see if it equals 29 and then we'll put negative three in there and see if it equals 29. Okay, so four times three squared minus seven. So this should equal 29, and it does, we're good. Okay, now let's check with negative three. Four times negative three squared minus seven. This should equal 29, and it does. So both of our answers are correct, three or negative three, so we're good. All right, let's try this last one. Notice this one has an x to the third power in it. All right, so we know right off the bat this is only going to want to have this is only going to have one answer, okay? But look at what was done to it. We started with x, we raised it to the third power, then divided by two, then added fifteen. So that fifteen, that adding fifteen is the last thing they did to it. So it's the first thing we're going to undo. But what I do to one side of the equal sign, I have to do to the other side. Okay, so the 15's undo each other, but the x cubed divided by two drops down, the equals drops down, and this side equals 32. Next, we have to undo the divide by two. The opposite of dividing by two is multiplying by two. But what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So multiplying and dividing by two undo do each other, so all that's left over here is x cubed. Drop down that equal sign. 32 times two, this side gets me 64. We're one step away. Now we have to undo that x cubed. And we learned today that undoing x cubed, we have to cube root. Don't forget that little three, by the way. We're cube rooting, not square rooting. What you do to one side the equal sign, you have to do the other. All right, so cube rooting and cubing undo each other. All that's left here is x equals, and the cube root of 64 is four. And that is my answer. All right, and again, don't forget, there's only one answer here because we are undoing x cubed. If we were undoing x squared, we'd have two answers, but this time we only have one. And again, if you wanna check, super easy to check, we'll just tick four and put it back into the original problem. So instead of x to the third power, we'll do four to the third power. I'll put in parentheses just in case. Divided by two plus 15. And hopefully all that should equal 47. And it does. So we know that our answer of four is the correct answer. Okay. So as you're working through these, work carefully, undo them in the opposite order of the order of operations. But then also don't forget, when you undo x squared, there's two possible answers. There's a positive and there's a negative answer. Whereas when you're undoing x cubed, there's only gonna be one answer, okay? So 
Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.